Chuck's Brain. I have an awesome background. Alright, I'm Chuck's Brain. This is my buddy John. What's up? We just went to see The Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, it was pretty awesome. It started out immediately. There was action right in the beginning. Uh, the only problem I kind of had with the action in the beginning is it was kind of jumbled. Now, it, it seemed they had too much CGI in it. It, it was way, way too flashy. Uh, but I mean, the action sequence in it was absolutely amazing. It's just, you get so lost with that CGI, it looks even more fake than it does fun, Yeah, <laughs> actually. Yeah, the thing is, it's like, I think I saw some of the footage, like when you look at, look at the previews, when you see all that stuff going on the smaller screen, it's uh, it looks a lot better. So like in a big movie theater, it's kind of like shaky, there's so much stuff going on. But like when you watch it on the smaller screen, when you buy the movie and you like, I'm not like trying to advertise buying the movie, but maybe I am. Not getting paid for it though. Anyway, <laughs> if uh, you watch it on a smaller screen, uh, when you get the movie or whatever on your TV or whatever, it'll probably look a lot better. Like it does on YouTube when you watch it on YouTube. Yeah. So, uh, um, what else? Uh, I, I gotta say it right off the bat. I lost it a little bit with uh, Quicksilver. Two spots, I believe I caught him. You guys be the judge, leave it in some comments. But I believe he broke his character, well, his actually his accent. He went from his German accent to an American accent for a couple of seconds and then right back. <laughs> I lost myself. Yeah, because for, for a while, I mean, maybe he thought he was in the, maybe he thought he was in Godzilla again or something, you know? <laughs> I didn't know before I saw interviews with him, I didn't know that he uh, had an accent. What, what is it? A German accent? Or? It sounded like a German accent, yes. I didn't know he, I didn't even know he had one. Um, and then, but then he used his natural accent in this movie, but I guess he accidentally did the American accent a couple times. I didn't catch it. Either. Twice. It, it was really quick and minute. Maybe, maybe it was on purpose. I don't know. Yeah. But if that was his accent, he should have kept it as his accent. That's just my opinion. I don't know if we're going to put any spoilers in this. Maybe we'll put a couple. Um, so if you might want to stop watching now if you don't want any spoilers. I already knew that one of the... I'm not going to say who dies, but I already saw something online and I already know... I already knew that one of the characters was going to die. Um, so I wasn't like really shocked. I was just kind of waiting how they were going to do yeah. it. I wasn't really that shocked when he died because I already knew he was going to. So there was that part. and uh, Everybody probably already knows that Vision is in the movie. <laughs> uh, basically, Tony Stark accidentally created Ultron. Ultron and Thor haphazardly created vision together accidentally well Thor they were, it was purposely to go ahead and make a uh, a robot but Thor had a vision himself which is why he went to the waters well yeah to find right. that out mm -hmm. and uh, they didn't want Tony to go ahead and recreate a version of Ultron so everyone's trying to stop him. great scene and then out of nowhere Thor just comes in blasts lightning on him and he pops out it was beautiful. I wasn't expecting it to happen that way. Now, I uh, I looked it up on in Wikipedia or whatever. Don't yeah yeah sure you can't trust everything Wikipedia says. Shut up. All right, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> like it's 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 more trustworthy than encyclopedias. So anyway, uh, what you may call it. Uh, I don't know exactly how in the comics um, even Ultron or Vision was made. I, I looked it up before, but I forgot it. And I think they they changed some things a little bit, but. You kind of have to cut corners when you're making a movie like this, and you have to make a two and a half hour movie. You can't make like ten years worth of comics in one movie. So, I like how they did it, though. I thought it was great how they did it, and now like I thought it was a great movie overall. Like, I rarely buy movies. I did buy Godzilla. <laughs> uh, well, that was a good movie. Elizabeth. That's, yeah, that's was, a different video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Elizabeth Olsen was in that too, and she's. Oh. My next girlfriend. Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> she's beautiful. Yeah, Scarlet she's, Witch. Yep. Man, she was, Scarlet man, Witch was Don't awesome. take your girlfriends because you're going to drool all over. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to. I did. Thankfully, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought she was great in the movie. Every Everybody was great in the movie. Every character was great in the movie, you know. Oh, and, uh, acting, acting was beyond perfect. Uh, it, it, it was a little upsetting, you know. A few faces weren't in it, but... What can you do? I mean, you already have the whole universe going out there right now, other movies. 
there's plenty of time for them to be in it. And, and make sure you stay after the credits, duh. You know, it's it's a short little cameo thing, but, but it's worth it. You'll you'll know you'll know what's coming on. Yeah, you, yeah, you'll know what's coming out next. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to know. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, overall, I loved it. I'm probably actually gonna buy the movie. I really buy movies, but I'm gonna actually buy that one because it was that good. It was that good of a movie. Well, so I, I what were, any problems? Any problems? The, you know, the movie. Oh, the only, well, I already said a few little problems, but. The other problem was when uh, the Hulk completely spazzes out because of Scarlet Witch. And they just had the camera going absolutely berserk throughout the whole thing with him. It, it just seemed like something had a crank. And it, I don't know, it, it, it kind of was a little sickening. Like if you're watching it, it makes you a little sick. I don't know. <laughs> if, I don't, I don't if you don't get, like roller coasters, yeah, you might. Like I don't normally get motion sickness, but I, <laughs> yeah, it, my eyes were circling around. I couldn't take that. But when you, But like I said before, when you watch it on a smaller atmosphere like a smaller screen or whatever your computer or whatever it's gonna be a lot cooler because I watched the that, CGI, I yeah. watched a lot of that fight scene on one of the clips that were already on YouTube so and it looked it was awesome I was like wow and it was only a little bit jumbly which in a movie theater it's kind of a little you know it, it's understandable but what yeah just just that camera action with the Hulk spazzing out that no they, they shouldn't have put it in that way it but it was still cool eh. I don't know. It, it felt like you know you have like a a GoPro cam in your car and you just roll it down a hill. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. You don't want to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it looked like to me. At times, at times I thought so too. But but overall, a overall was a great movie. You know, story was great and and oh, you know. another thing I had to say, it was nice to actually go ahead and see uh, Tony Stark grow a little bit of a heart when he actually showed that he cared about his friends. Yeah. Uh huh. Because I mean, in the first Avengers and even in the Iron Man, he. Mm -hmm. He, he, you know, he was just a smartass, which everybody loves. But it was a nice change to actually see him, you know, open up a little bit more. Yeah, he, and he called the Avengers like his, his friends, and he felt like guilty that his friends were, were dead. That and then, might, that might, you know, end up dying, end up uh, dying or uh, stuff because of him. Yeah, because of him. He felt like very guilty. And it, it did show you heart. Yeah. And yeah. then another one. It, you know, I, I was never ever really a big fan of. Um, Hawkeye, but to, to see this different side of him in the movie, also to see he actually, I don't know, he seemed more mature. Yeah. I, uh, and then to have a secret where he has a family you yeah. would never expect. And he uh, he was actually like important in the movie. He became like very critical part of the movie. And it was funny because like a lot of times like the movie was very funny too. There's a lot of funny parts. Oh course. yes. You have to put that in movies. But it was funny because he was like. Busting on himself for like <laughs> not being that important. Oh, like that. That was you, Chuck. oh hey, hey look at up? that! Oh my God! Hey, it's Mag. It's John. <laughs> hey, babe, how you doing? Come on, Ma. Oh, God bless you. Oh, it's always so good to see you. How you doing? I'm alive. You yeah. want to be on camera? We're doing a movie review. <laughs> Say hi. Come over here. Say hi. <laughs> Hello. She's running away. <laughs> and I left kind of early, so. Yeah, and then I was thinking about maybe heading over to Oscars like a little bit later on, but I'm going to do my cooking. That's tomorrow? Pardon? Tomorrow? Tonight. Oh, tonight, yeah. Yeah, because tomorrow, because, <laughs> oh, God bless Tristan. Gammy, did you buy me blueberries? Did you buy me blackberries? Yeah, so that's what I have in the car. I went, yes. I sleep oh, in your bed tomorrow. I said, yes, you're going to sleep in my bed. Probably stop there. All right, right see good seeing you. Bye-bye. Yeah, so Oops. we we ran into we went ran into our friend. So, and some people were walking out looking at us funny because they're like, "What?" Is that's okay. Those people we don't care. Uh, yeah, have we're weird anyways. Of, have you ever heard of YouTube? All right, so that's the end of our movie review, I believe. Well, I don't know. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no. Well, I could say you know, from a movie goes point of view, I give it an eight out of ten. Definitely go see it and buy it. For a comic book fan, if you just love to go ahead and see this stuff on a big screen, I still give it an 8 out of 10. If you're a stingy a-hole like I used to be, don't bother. He, he was the, uh, the biggest movie snob in on the planet. <laughs> I'm an a-hole. So you still got movie snob in you. You do. Okay. But sometimes you need that. You need comic book geeks yes. to be to like tell these people to make the movies the right way. But I mean, there is a balance there because you have to be you have to cut corners, you know. But, so even from the biggest movie stop on the planet, Age of Ultron, eight out of ten, still awesome. eight out of ten. <laughs> movie stop like I used to be. Don't bother. You just get pissed off and you start hating everything. <laughs> yeah, save, save your hate for Batman vs Superman.
Because I'm pretty sure all you uh, fans of either one of them are going to go out there and start a riot in the movie theater. Yeah. Batman <laughs> should win. I hope Batman just uh, shows Superman who's like... Bye, who's Superman. Boss. That's what should happen. <laughs> but it better. Know, it better. You don't want to disappoint fans. All right. Chuck's Brain. That was the Avengers movie review. This is John Bryling. Peace and love. Catch you guys later. Stop. <laughs>